Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, so today um, we are not going to model this um, because I think we we shouldn't. Um, we should probably just use a material. So I I, I, I post a link here. So it's a, a, a similar um, exercise. So in this video, I used uh, an image and then just um, use Photoshop to create some. Um, um, I can't remember which one. I use pic pixel law. Uh, I can't remember. I use a filter to create some, you know, uh, like a cutout um, image, and then uh, we can use in in other like rend rendering um, uh, software like uh, Lumions. So yeah, have a look. Um, yeah. So that's that. Um, okay. So today maybe. We we can just quickly model this okay so um it won't be perfect um because the <laughs> the limitation of revit um but let's have a have a have a try so okay so these are surface right so um let's use a mass uh let's just do a mass we can use conceptual mass okay so start um so first so we can start with this this so you can see this one it's quite simple it can be uh, just just like a, a extrusion so we just need a, um maybe we can just uh, create a line and then add a profile to do that so okay so let's do a maybe just use a reference line and then just do a straight line i'm going to use a uh, draw on word plan and set word plan pick i'll just pick this reference uh sorry level I just do a something like this okay so um, um okay and then uh, we're going to place a point use draw on face onto it and then use reference line again so this time use a star and radius arc use draw on work plan set work plan pick this uh the work plan on this point so i just draw something like um like this okay so now we have this is a path this is a profile select both and we can create this shape right so now we're going to so there's a void you know void here so in here in here so okay let's do that um so first i'll just hh this surface so for that void maybe i'll just place a point use draw on face and onto maybe here okay and maybe another one here and then from this point so we can so we can we can um we can turn change this one so show reference plans to always and oh sorry accidentally create a dimension let's delete it and also uncheck un untick this show normal reference uh, plans so now we can see the three reference plan so one vertical two vertical and three horizontal so we're going to use this vertical uh, reference plan so we can um, create something you know in this direction right so let's place a point you draw on word plan set word plan pick the vertical word plan so tab pick and place it okay so click ok select this point uh, that uh, op opposite direction that's fine let's just drag it to this um, this way okay so and that's it so now we can uh, just select these two create a reference line okay so now we have a line in this direction right so um hang on let me check oh hang on. we also need to uh yeah because uh, we're going to create a void and we we need to extend this void in this uh, to this side so um yeah let's just place another point use draw on word plan again tab select pick uh, pick that word plan place onto the point so we just need to drag oops drag this point to the other side so make sure it just um, so deep enough to cut this surface um maybe we don't need this now so because we have these two so let's just dissolve this and select this point select this point we can create a reference line from these two points so now this point okay so this is the point to control where these two points are and and um 
Yeah, I think that's it. So now let's place another point you draw on face, place onto this reference line, and then we can uh, uh, let's have a look again. Okay, the shape. So this shape, right? So it's a rectang rectangular with a little uh, curved corner. So let's reference. I'll just use draw a rectangle. Uh, draw on work plan. Set work plan. Pick this work plan, and then let's just click on this right. Okay. So and then I'm going to roughly, uh, just roughly, uh, uh, maybe uh, something like this. Okay. And then uh, because um, yeah, it need to be closed, and also we need a curved corner, right? So reference. So I'm going to use a fillet arc. Okay, so and then um, yeah, fill the arc. So and then pick this. So maybe you can just tick this uh, radius first. Um, maybe I'm not sure. Three hundred, for example, and pick this reference line. Pick this reference line. It will automatically create it three, this three hundred mil uh, radius arc. Okay, so do it again. That's it. So if you want to change, so you just type in a number. So this same tab select. And type in a number. So, all good. So now we can create this. So profile. This is a profile, and this is a path. And then you can just directly create a void. So it will automatically cut uh, on this surface. Okay. So it looks like this one's <laughs> too small. That's fine. We just need to select. You can select this uh, profile directly. Let's go. Click on this right. Uh, type R E scale R E. And then we can just place, pick this point, and here, and then just increase the height, maybe here. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> okay. So sorry. Um, so the issue we have here is because when we create this void, um, void form, we only use, we only used um one profile. So when we create, when we increase the size of this profile. So we we still have so you can see this this end the the original um, size and also on the other side this is the original. Um, so to resolve this issue, one option is we create we place two profile, one on each side, or we can just delete it and create it again. Okay, so. And this is it. If you want to, uh, you know, add parameters to control it, so you you will need two two profile on, so one on each side. But for this exercise, um, let's just <laughs> do it this way. So okay, so this is it. And then um, if uh, we can probably just copy everything. I'll ch I'll try this. Uh, I'll delete this point. Click on the this. I'll type WF wireframe. So you can select everything here. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's the reference plan, center reference plan. Let's unselect it. So use shift and click. Um, I'll see if we can copy CC everything to here. Okay, so yeah, it works. So let's change to shade SD. Yep. It works. Okay, great. Let, 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 oh, hang on. So you can see the difference between this point and this point. So the smaller point means it's being it's uh, it's using a draw on face. It's 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 being placed onto this reference or this reference line here. So this point, bigger point, means it's a f a, a free point. It's you can see. Oh, and also even uh, uh, looks like it's not working properly. Although this looks like exactly the same but so you can see when i move this point these two point won't uh, move together with this so um yeah that's fine so what we can do is we can control z control z control z so maybe we can select this point and try to so here trying to pick pick the word plan of uh this point okay so do the same select this one go here pick and pick this one now let's try again move this yeah so this time these two points uh, um, will move together with this and um, also because this one's you can see there's three uh, arrows uh, means it's just you know it's not 
placed onto this reference line. So we can just use pick new host and then just and and just place onto the this reference line again. Okay, so let's just place it. So now you can see it become a smaller point. Okay, so exactly same as this one. Uh, yeah, you can always change this one to always, and then it will show these reference. Uh, uh oh, sorry, were pens. Um, okay, so this is the next step. So the 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 uh, so next one is okay. So you can see, so this is quite simple. So it's just execution, and then this bit is a little bit tricky. So let's do the simple one first. Okay, so um. I'm going to copy this so because we already have this so let's select oh sorry select this so this point and this reference size I'll control oh sorry CC copy and then uh, for this one for this one we don't need a, a closed so we're going to tab select this and delete so just double check and see if yeah, so you can see this profile still uh, move with this point, which is correct. And we're going to just uh, reduce this size a little bit. Okay, so R E, and I'll just use uh, overall height six nine. Maybe just reduce this part uh, a little bit, maybe to here. Okay, and then we can just play, select this point in pick new host onto this one again. So now. Um, Actually, we can also use this profile because we can. Oh, uh, hell, we can't. So because this one's also a smaller one. So let's just, yeah. So just ignore this um, profile because this this one is used for the uh, void. Okay. So let's H H. Um. Okay. So this one. So let's just move it to here. Okay. And then maybe we need another one. So we can use two profile to create a uh, extrusion. So let's select. Um, this again cc okay and then select this pick new holes place it here so now we can select this profile and this profile create a form okay and then we can just drag this point to this end and then okay so this will be the tricky part how can we create a form from this edge to this one so um uh <laughs> um you're not sure I'm not sure how to create th this type like perfect uh, shape but we can uh, oh hell let me just hh we can try we can uh, I'll just add another one okay so CC because because you can see this is a little bit curved so we're trying to have a three profile because if you have only have two so the surface will um be um quite uh flat the face will be flat okay oh where is it oh here this one so i'm going to use a uh, pick new host place it here so close to this one so now i just want to try okay so it might not work but let's try move your cursor onto this edge okay onto this edge tab pick so you can see you can pick this edge Okay, move to here, tab, control, select, move to here, tab, control, select, move to here, tab, control, select, move here, tab, oh, hang on. tab, control, select. So now we have one, two, three, four, five edge. Okay, five edge. And then select these two, control, select these two, prof, uh, two set of reference lines as well. Um, I think uh not sure it will work or not click it yeah great perfect yes hr yeah actually oh hell perfect so actually this is this one's even better than i i, I did a test before this and this um probably because i didn't add this the second profile so this is very um ugly but once we have another a second profile next to this first one and with this edge so we can create this very nice um shape so let's try to move this closer to yes so oh hell 
no, this is not good. <laughs> so maybe um maybe we can add another one. So yeah. So let's just move move that the second one close oh hang on, which one's L let's just type WF. Uh where is it? Oh this one. Is this one? No. This one. This one. Yeah. Okay. So type SD. Yeah, so I think let's try. Let's try. Uh, I'll just dissolve this one for now. Maybe we can add another one. So I'll just add select all these CC and then pick new host. I'll p oh sorry, place onto the wrong wrong thing. <laughs> so pick new host, make sure you pick this reference line. So I'm going to move this clo very close to this the first profile and also I'll move this relatively um, close to this edge. Okay, so now we have so one, two, three, three sets um, of pro uh, reference lines. And I'm going to also tab, 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 or oh, hang on. <laughs> Tab, 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 tab. Okay, control select and again tab, 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 tab until you, yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard to pick that edge. Oh, hang on, let, let's just wireframe WF. Tab, tab, okay, control select, tab, tab, control select, tab. Oh, oh sorry about that. <laughs> let's do it again. So tab, tab, select tab tab select tab tab select tab 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 oh. and last one tab tab okay so these are all these edge on this surface and the control select control select and control select okay so create a form yeah so all good so t let's tr uh, use sd i think this one's slightly better so at least this part is uh, relatively uh, flat and then curve curve uh, curve uh, connect connect to this surface okay so and I think this is it um, uh, why is why is this uh, void invisible <laughs> anyway so Ah, let's just leave it. So yeah, so this is it. So um, yeah, we can we can actually uh, create a very very similar uh, um, massing uh, in Revit. Okay, so um, yeah, I um, maybe I'll just uh, up upload this this one. Um, so you can maybe just uh, try 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 here. Create another one here. Okay, so that's that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.